Welcome to the Scholar Faithful Podcast. I'm Aaron Preitman coming to you on Monday, November 27th, back from Thanksgiving break. And this episode is an announcement for uh, myself and the Scholar Faithful website, which effective immediately is no longer going to continue. To explain, uh, this is a process that um, started eight and a half years ago. I took over on the banks. Uh, as the managing editor in 2015 before that football season. And I've written extensively about Rutgers uh, athletics for that entire time period. And, you know, I managed the staff at On the Banks. It was a great experience and it opened doors for me to be able to co-found and uh, co-own the Scarlet Faithful website, which started uh, about a year and a half ago. And it's been a great experience too. But it's also been an all-encompassing experience that has become too much in my life in terms of my life balance. Uh, I have two small children. I have a loving, caring wife. Uh, despite what the Seton Hall uh, <laughs> fans in my mentions will tell you, I'm not a uh, unemployed, homeless uh, blogger in his boxers in my parents' basement. I do have a family and uh, very happy with that. And, uh, you know, part of starting this site was to uh, add to my revenue stream, right? It's it, This all started as a passion, and then opportunities opened uh, when fans like you read and listen, read my work. And it's been a complete honor and um, privilege to be able to cover Rutgers athletics in the way I have over the last eight and a half years. And specifically at the Scarlet Faithful, I've always tried to be me. Um, you know, it's always, I always took it as a compliment when people refer to me as a journalist. I'm not a journalist. I'm not professionally trained. This is not my career. Um, I'm a, <laughs> I've worked in restaurants and food service for 20 plus years now. And that's my career in the city. And it's demanding. And like I said, between my work life, my family life, and my health, you know, I can't do something halfway. And to operate the Scarlet Faithful the way I want to, um, I'm unable to anymore. I just can't do it. It's too much of a commitment. Uh, you know, I was mentally just always in it in terms of thinking about what's next, how to cover things the best, you know, taking time to write uh, professional, well-written, informative articles. I didn't want to just cookie cutter stuff. Um, and that's, I'm not saying that in a disrespectful way to, to anyone else on the Rutgers beat. It's been a privilege to even be considered among everyone. Um, and, you know, the fact that I was even able to kind of compete in a way, uh, it just, they're the pros, and uh, I'm more than happy to take a step back now and no longer have the grind of trying to, because I also felt an obligation with Rutgers Athletics in terms of covering them as fairly as possible um, and as extensively as possible, and that meant all the programs. And I feel like still they all deserve credit, you know, Football and basketball, of course, gets the most attention. Uh, but there's a lot of great stories. There's a lot of great coaches. There's a lot of great student athletes at Rutgers uh, in, in so many different sports. And I always felt a responsibility to try to bring light to them and give them proper attention. So the good news is that my podcast has grown quite a bit. I've done a daily podcast now uh, over six months. You know, I started doing a podcast on the banks and I never envisioned when I started this eight and a half years ago that this would ever be something that I would be comfortable with um, and that people would want to listen to me talk. I, I, I guess I never really thought I'm still getting over the fact that people actually read what I write and, and, and like it. So, and I, I if you know me, that I, I, I that's that's real like i you know and, and it took me a while to <laughs> it still takes me a little while to, to adjust to you know negative comments and 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 feedback and stuff but i've 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 learned to 
embrace it all, learn from it, take feedback, both constructive and negative and learn from it and uh, try to grow. And now I'm going to put all my, uh, which is, you know, just a, just a small piece of the bucket, but that piece of me will now put all my energy into covering Rutgers on the podcast. So the, the Scarlet Faithful podcast will continue. So if you're listening to this, if you're watching this, um, thank you. And I appreciate everyone that does listen and watch the podcast and hope you continue to do so. Because now I think, honestly, I think I'm going to make it better because I'm going to have time to plan. I'm going to, um, I'm already working on plans to, to, in terms of visual presentation, uh, audio, I'm, I'm going to be able to focus on it and being able to do a daily podcast, 15 to 30 minutes a day is a heck of a lot more manageable than all the time put into running a full fledged site that was comprehensive and I had very high standards for it. So I held very high standards to myself and it just came to a point where, you know, and I understand now where people don't plan the retirement or anything, it just hit me like a ton of bricks. And once I came to the conclusion that covering Rutgers athletics extensively for the Scarlet faithful website with so many written articles was no longer best for me. And I need to do what's best for my family for my career, for my health. I really haven't slept much at all in the last year. People always ask me, I get it a lot and it's a compliment. You know, I don't know how you do it all. And honestly, I was, I was, I was, uh, at the end of my, I guess my, my pen ran out of ink. You know, I, I, I no longer, it was no longer fun and it was a total grind. I was getting, you know, three, four. I mean, I get up very early for my, my career, my job in the city. I get up at four in the morning, you know, and I'm writing till midnight. It's not a very sustainable practice. And aside from owning the site with all the business side and everything, it was just, it, it, it was a lot. And I want to thank a lot of people. Aunt Wright, my partner, uh, has been amazing and he's been very successful in launching many other college sites for the full red network and uh you know where and he's been fully supportive of this move for me and uh going to continue with the scarlet faithful name so can't thank him enough you know Rutgers athletics has been great to work with over the years and um just in terms of the athletic communications department uh, all the coaches uh that have embraced me uh and appreciate uh what i've tried to do in terms of my coverage uh it's it's been a, a, like i said an honor and a privilege and uh i plan to and have had conversations already about continuing to have coaches and student athletes on the podcast i think that you know in addition with my youtube page if you don't subscribe please do i'll be able to do more videos that i've done i do some highlights uh compilations uh, some video analysis i'll have time to do more of that now and that's honestly something that i'm pretty able to do uh comfortable doing and uh, it's fun. I also wanted to thank two very important people in my life, which is my mother, who was an English teacher and got a kick out of seeing me write the way I did and really helped me over the years uh, become more efficient, become a better writer. And she, you know, would always give me feedback and grammatical errors, all that stuff to the point where I really got, you know, very good with not making too many mistakes, but that was a long time coming in terms of all her professional help and it was invaluable. I can't thank her enough. And she was always so supportive and I always got a kick out of the fact that, you know, she liked what I wrote. So I, I think that obviously it was a mother thing, but also <laughs> I think she actually did like uh, a lot of what I did. So it meant a lot to me. And then of course my, uh, my wife just was so supportive of me over the years uh, giving as much as I gave. And, you know, it honestly was the attempt was to, um, you know, make our lives better. And, and I think that, uh, now the best way to do that is to be, um, fully present and not have two full-time jobs. So, um, I'm excited about it and, uh, can't thank my wife enough for all the love and support she's given me over the years. And, um, you know, 
I just appreciate every day uh, with my family and I'm really excited about every day forward. So I think that, you know, it's going to be a little different and it's, uh, but it's uh, in just the last week ramping down, it's been a relief. And uh, I think it's just going to make the podcast so much better. And that's going to be my focus. And I really appreciate everyone that's ever read anything I've ever written uh, over time. Uh, it, it means the world. And I've, I've always been a fan first. And um, that's what I am. And I've been going to Rutgers games since the 80s when I was a kid. And uh, that's what I will continue to be, first and foremost. And I will continue that spirit of all of that on this podcast. And um, so I hope that people that did read me for years uh, now come and listen and watch me on the podcast going to continue to have many guests. I'm going to have more regular kind of in the, in the Rutgers world, uh, regular guests. Uh, I want to uh, bring spotlight to other uh, people in the Rutgers world that are content creators and that deserve attention. And I just want, you know, positive vibes out there with everyone. Um, you know, anyone that's ever uh, sent me a positive uh no, thank you. Anyone who sent me a constructive or even negative comment, you know, thank you because you've made me better. And that's all I'm trying to do is just when I do something, I have to have to give it my all. And as I said, that's why I'm ending the Scarlet Faithful website because I can no longer give it my all, the attention that it deserves. Um, and I feel comfortable with that. I gave him my all, you know, when you have, <laughs> when you have a, a, a mega corporation buying a similar domain name and directing it to their Penn state site intentionally to mess with you, you're doing something right. And although I had dreams in my head of, of taking down said corporation, that is um, not what's important. What's important is my family and my life balance and I'm really excited about having this change in my life. So thank you so much to everyone who's ever read anything I've ever written. I will say, I think the best thing I've ever written is the night of Rutgers getting eliminated in the round of 32, that uh, epic stomach punch loss to Houston. I was up all night. I didn't know how to handle it. And that was about as raw of a writing experience I ever had. That will stick with me forever. And I was very proud of what I put out. I think that generated the most um, the most feedback in terms of people personally reaching out to me and saying that I helped them through that time. And and honestly, that 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 was what it was about for me, to be able to connect with Rutgers fans and have people tell me that I was helping them through tough losses or getting them excited about Rutgers sports. That that's the thrill that that's, that's for me, what was the most rewarding. And I'm excited uh, about continuing to try to do that through the podcast. Uh, so it's been a wild ride and it's going to continue just in a different form. And I can't thank everyone enough for all the support over the years all the kind words, and I hope that you continue to listen and watch me on the Scarlet Faithful podcast. I appreciate if you're listening. I have a preview out for Rutgers men's basketball. I'll have a rapid reaction after every Rutgers men's basketball game this year, just like I do for football, just like I did last year. Have some other things planned. I think it's, I'm excited. I'm excited to make the podcast even better than it is and appreciate all the positive feedback. Always reach out to me. You can email me at brightmanaron at gmail.com with any feedback suggestions, constructive criticism, whatever it may be. I'm an open book. I guess maybe an open mic now. Um, I still will bring the bad jokes, but uh, thank you. And I look forward to now and in the future and making this podcast even better. And thanks to all that supported me at the Scarlet Faithful website. This will be the last article as I post this podcast on there. And um, to a better future as a uh, Rutgers Athletics and Steve Peichel always says better days are ahead. Better days are ahead for myself and hopefully for you. And we'll go through it together as Rutgers fans, as we always have. 
it'll just be a little different, but I'm excited for the journey ahead and appreciative for the journey behind me. Thank you for listening once again to the Scarlet Faithful Podcast.